Hi, this is Terry from Terry Johnson Creates, and Cindy had a question about how you can tell whether or not a file is going to cut in Silhouette Studio. Her artist had told her that the JPEG and the SVG files look the same, which is true. Visually, they look the same, but they work differently. A JPEG is a graphic file, and an SVG is what's called a scalable vector file. Now you can only open SVG files if you've purchased the designer edition, which in my opinion makes it worth it alone to be able to do that. So let's show you how this works. I'm going to open the SVG file. When I click on open, Studio defaults to their Studio files, which is not what we want. So I'm going to drop down here and open SVG, and there's my design right there. Now I'm going to make it a little bit bigger so that you can see how it works a little bit better. In order to tell if this is going to cut, we're going to go to our cut style window, which is this little scissors, and you're going to see that there's no dark red lines that indicate cuts. So we're going to go ahead and come over here. It's really simple, and you just say cut. So now that's going to cut everything where it's a dark red line, which is what we want. So I'm guessing that Cindy does not want to use this dark gray background to cut. So what we need to do is ungroup, and for some reason, I noticed this design had to be ungrouped twice. Don't really know why. But anyway, so I can just simply remove that layer over there. And what you need to understand is this is all done in layers. This back black is a layer. This white is a whole layer. Then we have black again. All of this white and the blue actually is before the white. And then that white is the last. So... No, actually, I think the blue is the last because see how the blue overlaps that fish there a little bit. So the, if we're going to cut this, we need to have registration marks so we know how to line it all up again. So I'm going to create some little registration marks. I'm going to go over here. I'm going to draw a couple little circles. It can be a shape, any shape that you want, but I'm going to draw a circle there. Right? Oops, I don't want to make more circles. So I'm going to write, see, which I did. See that little circle I made there? Got to get rid of that go in there and delete that. Right click and duplicate. So I'm going to put one circle over here on this side of him and one circle over here on this side. It doesn't really matter where, but I'm going to select both of those, not the dolphin or the marlin, and I'm going to go to the align window and I'm going to align these to the top so that they're even when I'm doing them as registration marks. And I'm going to color them in using my fill color window. And I'm just going to make them, I don't know, purple so that you can see those easily. All of this color is simply visual. It has nothing to do with what you're actually doing. Now, unless you were going to print this on printable vinyl, we wouldn't need all these cut files. You're going to have to cut this in layers. And I think I was wrong a minute ago. This white is the top layer. Um, and then the blue the black, the white, and the black again. And in order to make this a little easier to see, I'm going to go ahead and color all of that top layer of white, well actually both whites, gray. So I'm going to have to select all of the white here and fill it into gray, and I also want to group it together. So we have this section of gray, this section, excuse me, white, this section, and I want to make sure I get these little fins here, which is that one, and I think that one. Let's see. Come over here and select gray. Okay, so now all of that layer is gray. And if, while I've got them all selected, I'm actually going to group. Let's see. Let's see if I can get all that gray. Well, I think I got them. Right click and group. So now, when I move, they all move as one, just like that, and that's what you want. Then we also have this layer here of, of white, and I'm going to turn that gray as well, just so you can see if we start separating these layers. Again, this has nothing to do with that, what's actually going to be cut. So I want you to understand that this is a layer that's on the top. The next one down is blue, goes underneath it. The next one down is black. Then you have another gray or white layer and then black. Now I'm going to get these all back where they belong by clicking undo. Okay, so they're all lined up. Now remember we talked about the cut style windows. So the question is always how do I cut these and layer them so they all stay together? 
The first thing you're going to do is cut this white layer. So I'm going to select the white. Well, let me select everything. I'm going to select everything and come over to my cut style window. Now I want to turn off everything except that top layer of white. So I'm going to select this and say no cut. This and say no cut. And let's see this one no cut. Turn off the blue. Let's see if I got blue. Nope, that's not what I wanted. You have to be careful when you get the right thing. I have to get all the blue. So let's do that and say no cut. So now you can see that all we have left to cut here is our white top layer and the registration marks. So leaving this all just like it is, I would send it to Silhouette and cut this layer of white. After that, so you would, it won't look different when you're like this. You're going to see it the same, but only this and this is going to cut. Well then, the next time after I've cut the white, I would go back to my cut style window. I would select my white and I would turn it off and say no cut. Then I'm going to select my blue and cut it. So now I'm going to cut the blue with the registration marks. Only the blue. And then you're going to repeat that for all of the layers so that when you are using your transfer tape and you go back to layer this up, I guess that's the right technology words, layer this up. You're going to start with the bottom layer, do the black, line up the registration, do the white, the black again, and so on and so forth, and you're going to layer all of that on top of one another so it's exactly what you want to see. I know this sounds a little complicated for beginners, and um, it, it, it takes some practice. Um, you know, we do a lot of this type of thing in my silhouette retreats that I'm holding, so if you have an opportunity to attend, we'd love to have you. But anyway, this is a little video that might help you on how you understand SVG files versus JPEG files and what you do to cut them. Hope this helps. Thanks.